how curious students let us see what is there in this question the root mean square current in the primary coil of an ideal transformer ideal transformer means that the efficiency is 100 percent so the power input that is v1 i1 will be equal to the power output at the secondary coil that is v2 i2 so ideal transformer is 2 amperes <coughs> The RMS voltage in the secondary coil, so this is V2, the average power transferred from the secondary coil is 20 watt. <clears throat> so this is P2. What is NP by NS and what is the average power transformed transferred from primary coil? What is the average power transferred? Well, the average power transferred will be exactly the same, isn't it? Because uh, it says that it is an ideal transformer, so there is no leakage. So the power output will be equal to power input. So clearly, the answer will be either B or C. Now, uh, we want to comment on the NP divided by NS. So let us see. So the power is the same. So it means V1, I1 is equal to V2, I2. And uh, V2 divided by V1 is equal to N2 divided by N1. Like I'm writing 2. And they are writing S for the secondary. And for the primary, they're writing P. I'm taking it as 1. Nothing, there is no other difference, okay? So, we want to find NP by NS. So, clearly, we have to find V2 by V1. So, V2 is known to us already. So, V2 is known. And I1 is known. And P2 is also known. So, we, we have to find... Uh, P2 is known, so we can say 20 watt, which is actually the P1 also. So that will be equal to V1 I1, and I1 is 2. We want to find V1. So yeah, 20 is equal to V1 into 2. So clearly V1 is 10 volt. It means that VP, the primary voltage is 10, and the secondary voltage is it has increased to 50 volt. 50 volt. Obviously, it is a step up transformer. The current is reducing and the voltage is increasing. Now, we want to find the transformation ratio. Clearly, the transformation ratio will be greater than 1, but it is NP by NS, sorry. So, that will be 1 by 5. So, answer should be C, but still, we are going to apply this formula. So, N1 by N2, I've taken, I'm going to reciprocal it. So, that is V1 by V2. Now, V1 is 10. And V2 is 50. Clearly, we are getting 1 by 5 as the answer. So C is the answer. So this is how we do this question. Indeed, this question was a bit confusing. There were many variables that were given here. And so I will rate it as a good question. So you, you must be knowing all of these things. Okay, so this is complete transformer. So my dear students, thanks for joining. This is Professor Varun. Please share the video with all your friends. Tell all your friends to follow the YouTube channel. All the best. Bye.